We can download the arms in the video for free, link in the description. To ignore arguments inside of a function, when calling that function, one method is to call that function, passing null at the argument that you want to ignore. Although if you do this, then inside of that function, you must check if on the argument, meaning that you are only running the code related to that argument if it isn't equal to null. However, in the case we have type hints on the arguments, like integer, string, or float, then you can't use null, and you must instead pass some sort of default value, like for example, passing an empty string, then you can check if that argument isn't equal to the empty string before running any code related to that argument. Although in this case, I would recommend just providing a default value for the argument. This is done by using an equal sign and by having a default value for the arguments in the function. Then whenever you call the function, you are no longer required to ever pass any values if you don't want to, as Godot will just use the default values that you defined instead. Although keep in mind that if you are always skipping the second argument, but never skipping the third, then I recommend rearranging the second argument to be last, as when you call a function, you must pass the values in order from left to right, so keep the most commonly skipped arguments towards the end of the function. Now an example of wanting to skip arguments can be in a 2D platformer game where you have a function for taking damage and handling invincibility frames and you want to ignore the invincibility frames in the case that the player falls into lava or falls out of bounds. In that case, we provide a default value for the invincibility time, which is 0.0, .0 seconds. Then inside of the lava script, we can just pass the amount of damage to the player, which we make super high to ensure that the player dies immediately. And you will notice we don't pass any value for the invincibility, and that is because we are just relying on the default values, as the default values are set up in a way where it'll ignore the invincibility. However, for something like spikes, we would pass damage, then we would have to pass whether we want to check if the player is currently invincible, and then we would pass the total amount of time that we want to make the player invincible for. Now you have a few examples of how to ignore certain arguments when calling a function, which you can use in any of your Godot games, and don't forget that you can check out the project files in the description.